Every time they produce a big movement, we move to the front. Now, it's no point, go back, and then I punch. Yeah? You have to meet them as they come. So I come, and you punch it, as I, as I come to you slowly. As I come, it meets at the same time. Again, bang, and back. But if I do this, one, two, it's too late. Also, the other thing, very important, the people that are getting punched, try not to be too shy from getting hit. If the person is hitting you too hard, you can say, remember it's my turn now. <laughs> okay. But, you, I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay, because he has nothing to work with. If I do it, I must give him the target. I can change the distance, what we was working before. Remember, I can come forward. Not yet, not yet. There. Do you understand? Yes. Now we're working time. Okay? We can incorporate the distance, changing the distance. But we must have this big movement. We move back we see the movement, we can punch. Same time. Same time. Yes? It means in the middle. Bang. As soon as they move, you react. Get the zuki. Yeah? Okay, we're going to be working in time and reaction. But what it is, one side is going to be leading, and one side is going to be reacting. So, Cam, I want to lead with Gakazuki. Okay? So as he comes with Gakazuki, I beat him to it. Now you notice I have to wait for him to come. I can't just take the initiative and go because you lose the whole essence. Okay? What it is, Cam starts to punch, I react and try and beat him to the punch. At worst, at the worst case, we must hit at the same time. Yeah, at the worst case. So as he moves, I either beat him or we hit at the same time. If he hits me first, it's over. It's not the point. So again, we're still working on this idea of timing and reaction. Timing and reaction. But now, we're looking at a situation where my opponent has tried to to punch first, and we react slowly, and we meet them on the punch. Yeah? Oh. Do it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yeah? So are you stepping out with the foot at the same time as the block? Back foot stepping out? Or is it? Say that again. On the block as the punch is coming in, are you stepping out to get the angle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm stepping out slightly as well. So that as it comes, I can move with it. As opposed to, as opposed to just blocking and then stepping and moving, I want to get that whole movement in one. So I'm taking it here. No, I don't understand. So it's when, when the angle is right, yeah. it's not always that you can get the angle. Direction. Um, I don't know. I think, I think sometimes, yes, sometimes if you don't get the angle right, it's because you haven't positioned yourself, maybe. So the, why, the reason why we keep drilling and, and doing these things is so that it becomes instinctive 
to get the angle right. And sometimes, even if the angle is not 100% right, you've got the position and the force, it might be enough to just tip the balance. Now, not everybody that, uh, that you try to sweep will fall on the ground. I don't know what it is, it's the law of nature, but some people just won't fall. They just won't, they just won't go on the ground. You can sweep them, you can, best technique, they won't fall. <coughs> and it used to upset me because I like people on their back, on their neck. <laughs> but what you have to realize is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether they fall on the ground. What matters is you've taken them off balance and you've created an opportunity to score a point. That is what matters. That is what matters. Yeah. We've gone from basic, gone from the basic, from the Gakatsuki coming, one taking the leg, okay? And I've shown you if the person is still standing, take them the other way, yeah? You can also come from here, no, relax. just come from here and just grab, take him, yeah? This nice one as it goes, you're just thinking from here, just reach forward, grab the person's sleeve. Grab. Lovely technique. Okay? You can just come around and take the leg. Yeah? But again, always position, direction, force. Yeah? We're going to try this one. It's a favorite of mine. The condition is, we have someone who's quite, um, quite staunch in his stance, doesn't like to back up, likes to try and control the area. So what you have is a situation where you're both trying to control the area. He's probably a counter biter, ready to block and counter. So he's not likely to move back away from you. So we're going to try and set him up. What we have here is a situation where we... Maigiri. Just with the Maigiri first. Then we come up. One, two, three. Gakazuki. Lift the leg high. Come up. Come down. Gakazuki. As we hit with the Gakazuki, we then use the momentum to pull away. To finish. Bend with the Maigiri first to give him the idea, then come up, down, down, swing, finish. Watch your line. Up, down. As soon as we land, we punch. Up, down. As soon as we punch, we start to pull away and swing. Okay? Easy enough. Remember. Up. Position. Punch. Turn. Think of this. Think of this from this position. Like my game. Yeah? So we have. Am I getting up, down, punch, pull away, my getting. The my getting is exaggerated, you know, but the force is still the same. The force is still the same. Any questions? Let's try. Step up through, one, two, step. Now we step back. Yeah. <laughs>
One. Push the hand. Push. This hand comes straight. Cross. And attack the far shoulder. Try. From here. One. And attack the near shoulder. Okay? So we come over the top. Take the hands down. One. Push. And take the leg apart. So we can also use it as a distraction. We can use attacking as a distraction as well. Yeah? Just starting from here, just thinking, boom. That's the point. That's the point. Now we've got that, we've got the measure on it, we've got the timing on it. Got one hand. So we don't just stop at one point, we take some more. John, I think that's this uh, oh, yeah. much, much more what was in the ad. Uh, much, much, yeah, much, much more. Much, much more. One, yeah. <laughs> four, we have to have some of the pace. Punch. As you step through, grab the hand. Push. Push. And from this position, from this position, same again. Step back and push. Yeah? One. So that's the most dangerous man in the galaxy. Uh, he's wearing white belt, but uh, it's just a, just an illusion. This guy is extremely dangerous. Oh, uh, 